Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here and today what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my honest thoughts and feelings on the brand new March patch we've seen for New World and the Heart of Madness update. Obviously looking at the Tempest Expedition which you will be seeing in the background of today's video. Little spoiler for those of you that haven't completed it yet but seeing as though it's been out for a few days now I thought this would be cool to post. I am going to bring you guys a guide on it as well because it is a quite a tricky expedition but it is a lot of fun. So I'm going to be talking about that one. I'm also going to be talking about the blunderbuss, the double XP event we've just had and the update as a whole, how it's kind of come into the game, how it's working, whether the changes or not were actually good and what we would like to see going forward from this point. So lots to cover and I'm going to try and make it as quick and as snappy as possible so that you guys can get my thoughts and feelings and then of course let me know what you guys are thinking down below. Now if you do go on to enjoy this video don't forget to drop me a like as it massively helps to support the channel and if you are new to the channel and you want to see more New World content, all things related to this update, guides, tips and tricks and also all news and updates for New World, then please do drop a subscribe down below with the notification bell on so that you don't miss an upload from my channel. And other than that, let's jump straight into it. So first things first, what do I think overall of the update? Well, I think it's probably one of the best updates we have seen to date in terms of smoothness of the launch. Yes, it was delayed by a day, but after it actually came into fruition here, it's been pretty good. You know, I touch wood, touch all the wood that you've got because I don't want it to fail now. Um, but so far, we've not seen any major things go wrong. There's been a few little desynky bits here and there, but generally, the connection, the desync, stuff like that has been massively improved, at least on my server, from previous iterations of the game. So, of course, let me know down below in the comments if yours is the same or not. But for me, and for my server, and everybody that's playing it, it is seemingly a lot better. Now, in terms of the actual content, this is one of the most fun updates I think with the blunder was releasing and then them having a double XP weekend that did include double weapon XP and they eventually expanded that to be all weapons before that was released so it was every single weapon was double weapon XP which was really really cool it has actually been a lot of fun and was a great smash out start to the weekend to the patch everybody hopped on was grinding levels for the weapons was getting their characters up to level 60 if they hadn't done so before and all of the elite zones, that sort of areas, the kind of best XP areas, if you will, I've made some videos on it, that sort of thing. They were all really packed out and that was great to see because it made it feel much more like an MMO, like there was a lot of life coming back into the game with that event, which I think was great and is going to be key to the success of this patch. Now, in terms of what content we actually saw, well, the Blunderbuss itself is a lot of fun. Some people think it's broken, some people think it's not so good. There's obviously going to be people on both sides of the argument. Personally, I think it's a lot of fun. I'm trying it out with different weapons. I've made a build for it with the Great Axe, but I'm also going to be trying it with Int weapons. I'm going to be trying it as a healer secondary, all this crazy stuff, just to check where it fits into the meta the best and kind of bring you guys some updates on that as we go along. But I'm really enjoying using the weapon. I'm just trying to get my expertise up with it right now. But as well, we obviously got the Tempest Heart Expedition, which is the gameplay that you guys are watching in the background of today's video. This one is, in my opinion, one of the best expeditions in the game. Yes, it is a lot longer than some of the others, and it's quite tricky, I won't lie, it's quite tricky. Even on 600, 625 gear score, it can still be a bit tricky, particularly the boss with the red circles on the floor, Nishatam. It is quite difficult, but... It is fun and rewarding and of course the final Isabella fight is particularly hard as well but again very fun and once you learn the mechanics it's easily doable it's just you've got to be on your toes which I really like in an expedition and I am excited to try this in mutation variant when it is out to try and see if we can get the timings down see where people cut things out see where you can skip mobs all this good stuff which is all part of it as well which is great fun so there's kind of another element to this dungeon that we haven't experienced yet because obviously we've got to wait for that rotation to come around. Now what I do think is great from this one, like I said, particularly on my server, we've seen a massive decrease to desync and lag issues. OPR has been phenomenally better so far. Again, touch the wood, but it's been brilliant. We've seen wars that have had minimal lag. There's been bits, you know, the odd thing, but overall a lot better than it was. There's still some occasions, you know, it's not 100% perfect, but compared to what we've 
played through in previous iterations and previous patches and stuff, this is a lot better and there seems to be a lot more emphasis on fun. I'm really trying to find raffle burns, I haven't seen him yet at all in my lobbies, in my world, anything like that, so I'm still looking for him, still trying to find him, I really do want to fight him and see what it's all about, but that's a really cool little emphasis, you're going about the world, you might find him. I've been really enjoying doing the elite zones now with obviously the blunderbuss coming in, you've got the craft mods, you've got the timeless shards and you've got the expertise to get up, so it's brought more play players back into that aspect of the game as well and in terms of the pvp side of things like i said opr the rewards have been pretty good you know you've got a nice increase to those with the umbral shards added in there from last patch and obviously with the smoothness of this patch added in it's been working pretty well you've then got obviously the pvp wars again there we have had the rewards increased so again more incentive to be a part of them and the invasions have also had their rewards increased so all of that stuff put together is just making more emphasis on fun more emphasis on being rewarded for playing which is something i am really all for i really think that's the direction the game should should continue to go in as it does make more players have accessibility and therefore want to come back and spend more time in a turnum. Now, one other thing that I really like and I think has transferred from the previous patch but has also been included with the Tempest Hearts key is the faction shop, the access to the mutated keys, the access to Genesis, Lazarus and of course now the Tempest Heart Expedition keys as well and the Gypsum Orb that you get from there as well. It's just an extra one you can get per day which is great, particularly when you're still levelling up, you know, for example, the Blunderbuss that's just come out. It's great to have that plus still be getting your Umbral Shards from the other casts. I'm really enjoying that system and it's helping me to level up subsequent sets and things like that, which is really cool because it then means if someone needs a regular run of Genesis and I play a DPS but I've got a healer spec that's around 610 that can easily cover it, even a 600 one would easily cover that, so I can swap in and out very easily, which is something I'm personally enjoying as someone who plays the game every single day. I know other players don't play as often and therefore won't have the need for multiple sets or anything like that, but for me and for a lot of the more hardcore players, this is something that players have been enjoying. Let's just really, really hope that we can get some set storage soon so that you can put pieces of gear together with weapons and store them as a complete set and name it something like healer set or tank set. That would be amazing. Now, in terms in terms of the update overall with the balances that we saw to the weapons and also the updates to things like the quest lines, the brand new end game quest line which is basically just go through the expedition and explore that. The actual lore behind it is pretty cool, I've enjoyed the story there for people that aren't as interested in that I do think it was done in a quite a good way because you kind of skip through most of it if you're not interested but it's there on the sides if players do want to get involved which I really enjoyed personally. Um, as well I do quite like the way that the progression of it works. The, that architecture inside that expedition is brilliant and in terms of how we see new balancing with the weapons it seems to be that still the great axe warhammer is really good ice gauntlet void gauntlet both really good weapons now the blunderbuss is working its way in a little bit the bow and the musket have a little bit more viability but some players again still not preferring them over other weapons however in opr i've seen them used a fair amount just not so much in the wars and i do like the way that the new gate system works in terms of the wars where you've got the labeled gates and you've obviously got the flags from each other's perspective it does make it interesting once you get inside the fort and i've seen things like point e appear on the flags so there was a b and E. Don't know why that was the case and so there's a few little hitches like that but overall it has been a lot better and I have enjoyed the changes that they've made to the PvP war aspect but again we'll have to wait and see whether they implement any further stuff going down the line. However I do feel that this is one of the better changes that we've seen in terms of the whole update. Now what would I like to see going forward? Well I would like to see like I said there set storage or set saving that would be amazing that would be really really cool. Obviously we know that the release of the 3v3 PvP arenas is probably coming in sometime I would assume May and with that we're going to see a PvP reward track. I'm really hoping that there's some cool cosmetic stuff in there, maybe some exclusive titles, maybe even some coloured titles, maybe some aesthetic things like capes or helmets that you can only get through participating in that PvP track. All of that sort of stuff would be cool and of course if we got a leaderboard with that it would be amazing. However that is something we've seen labelled to be coming in autumn so we'll be happy to wait for that if it's going to be coming out then we know it's on the way. Now in terms of what I'd like to see right now, 
still focus on the couple of little issues and bugs that we are seeing cropping up time and time again. Things like fast travel loading when it kind of glitches out. We've also got things like you can get stuck in some of the places in the new expedition. So just ironing out those. But those sort of things are to be expected with something brand new. And obviously this expedition is. And on the whole, the expedition is fantastic. So I think with a little bit of polishing, this could be one of the best updates we've seen. Now, is it all sunshine and glory? Well, in my opinion, so far, yes. That's why I said touch wood at the beginning. There may be some stuff that crops up later in the patch. But for now, most players seem to be in the general consensus that this has been at least a fun patch, if not their favourite one. It's definitely been fun, especially with the event added in. I really liked the idea and would love to see more events going forward, whether it's double XP, double weapon XP, whether it's double trade skill XP, or whether it's double gathering rates. Anything along those lines, I think, would be really, really really cool particularly now that they have clamped down a lot on the bots we could maybe do something like double gathering rates so that you could get extra materials and give everybody a full weekend to just grind out get their levels up in their crafting skills because obviously you get essentially double xp because you'd have more materials to craft with so that could be really cool as something we could see and again next time they bring out another weapon which we know is going to be the great sword in autumn it would be amazing to see a double xp weekend with that particularly for a selfish reason with content creation because i'm now able to test out all of these different builds a lot sooner than I would have done without it so I personally really enjoyed it and looking at Twitter Reddit the forums Steam forums everything like that everyone seems to have enjoyed it so that's a really positive and hopefully we see more of that in the future so for right now in new world it is a pretty good time we're having a lot of fun with the new content obviously we'll see how this progresses and what they bring out in the near future but in terms of the patches this is one of the better ones we have seen if you haven't jumped in and checked it out yet I would recommend it I think you will enjoy yourself the game is a lot smoother and it's it's generally been pretty fun so do get involved if you want to of course this is just my opinions in this video if you guys don't agree then that is absolutely fine let me know what your thoughts and feelings are in the comments even if you do agree let me know how it's been going for you what you've been up to over the weekend particularly with the double xp because it's been a lot of fun and i think that that's been a great thing for the community as a whole so do let me know your thoughts and feelings down below in the comments and other than that i will be back with you guys very very shortly with a brand new upload but i would like to thank you for watching thank you for your time and peace.